I've always been involved at the highest level of volleyball. I've always been playing club, and my team's always been, you know, top five, top six club in the nation. So I've always been involved in that. I just never really realized my potential. And once I realized my junior year that I could play at the next level, that's when I kind of decided that volleyball was my true calling. And that's when I invested all my time in. And I was kind of stuck playing baseball that year. And so I, had, I waited out after my junior year to, you know, switch to volleyball. Like there are big crowds and stuff and I knew that if I went, you know, maybe I'd think that I made the wrong decision. But I knew deep in my heart, you know, I made the right decision because I'm equally good at both sports. And something like um, the amount of crowds that a sport draws isn't going to exactly make me play volleyball. Yeah, he, he beat the odds in that, uh, you know, he obviously learned to play volleyball outside of the school system. He learned in the club systems. And, and that's rare because most kids start playing volleyball, you know, maybe a junior high, and their only volleyball exposure early is in high school. But at some point, he got that exposure and, and, uh, and developed. And I think his upside is tremendous because he hasn't played that much. I still haven't really realized it, but I knew I was getting myself into a really unique uh, circumstance. I was going to be playing a D1 sport at UCLA, which not many people can do. And so when I signed, I was really excited, but I still haven't really wrapped my head around the whole concept of, you know, me playing at UCLA. I mean, I guess the reason why I'm a volleyball player is because I don't play baseball anymore. I mean, volleyball is my, um, it's my future. So that's why I'm a volleyball player now, I guess. <laughs>